Hi. One day not too long ago, my son came to me and told me that he was able to find out who the artist was who painted a painting we have in our house by using Google Image Search. And he actually took a picture of the, the painting and uploaded it and used the image itself to conduct the search and found out who the, uh, the uh, painter was and uh, a bunch about the painting and the artist. And I, I was really kind of blown away by that. I had no idea that you could do that kind of thing. So I made a point of noting that and saying, hey, I'm going to go, uh, I have to go learn more about this and maybe it'll make a good blog post. And I got around to it this weekend and I want to show you what I did and a bunch of fun things I learned about Google Image Search. So I took this photo using my iPad, not a super top quality photo. I have some uh, reflection from lights at the top, but let's see uh, what kind of results we can get. So I'm going to go to Google.com and click on Images. And I can type text in here to search, but here's where if I click on this little picture of the camera, I can then upload an image or use an image from out on the web somewhere. I'm going to browse out and pick up this image that I emailed to myself and saved on my local computer here. So let's go out and get it. <clears throat> there it is. And waiting for the results to come up. There we go. Boom. Albert Bierstadt among the Sierra Nevada mountains, California. So there's a whole scoop here on Wikipedia about this picture. Well, I should say about the artist. And then scrolling down, there's tons of his pictures, uh, a lot of these beautiful nature pictures. And uh, there's the one that we searched for and found. So how cool is that? Now, another thing I want to point out is how it also finds visually similar images. So it looks very much based upon the real layout, the colors, and, the, and all the visual elements to find other um, images that are stored that look similar. So that's got a lot of interesting potential, I think. Uh, I'm going to go out and try a few other things just for the, uh, the sheer fun of it. Um, here I have a photo of a sage plant and well bingo there you go it comes back with a lot of um, photos that have a very similar sort of color and visual imagery to them. Now the more traditional way I think people think of Google image search when they hear it is to use it to search for an image and it will absolutely let you do that so let's go ahead I type Abraham Lincoln for example boom there's pictures of Abraham Lincoln uh, no problem that happens uh, very easy. It's very easy to use. Uh, and there are, in fact, some, uh, some more advanced features that can allow you to focus specifically on pictures that you, uh, that are, you know are copyright of, well, I shouldn't say copyright free, but that are, are okay to reproduce and use for other purposes. So to add this parameter to your search, scroll down and click on Advanced Search and come down and you're going to see this usage rights. So if I put free to use or share, for example, and click on advanced search, now I'm going to get all these great pictures of old Honest Abe that are free to use and share based upon the way they're licensed on the internet. If you don't see the advanced search function at the bottom of your screen, you might try up here in the upper right hand corner on this little gear icon and get to advanced uh, search that way. I want to share one more uh, neat little tool. This is It's labeled as an unofficial Google image search tool. I don't know that it is officially, a, <laughs> officially an unofficial Google tool, uh, if I could use that uh, kind of oxymoron. Uh, I learned about this through Richard Burns Great Free Technology of a Teacher site. But uh, So apparently you can draw, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot here. Lord knows what kind of crazy results I'm going to get, and I'm uh, not the greatest at drawing. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and have some fun with it anyway. Draw some kind of some kind of image. Now let's see what happens now if we search. Hmm. Interesting. So here's here's the results I get from searching on this crazy little image I drew. And I imagine if I could draw a more specific type of image, I could get some more interesting results. But just another really cool tool. I'll bet uh, folks had no idea existed.